stay with me in this video and I'm going to share with you one of the absolute best tools I've developed for my clients when it comes to overcoming procrastination and taking more consistent action on whatever goal it is you have for yourself. it's time for you to take action to do something that you've been planning on but there is some kind of inner conflict within yourself a part of you wants to stay rooted on the couch while the other part of you knows it's time now to go and do something to take action on this goal so you're in the middle right and you're trapped and it feels like actually it's really weird because you're in no man's land you're not let's say you're watching tv or something and you know you've got to do some work on your goal your project you're, you're sit there and you're watching your TV. Now you're not actually enjoying the TV because your mind is actually thinking about, oh, I should be working, I should be working. It's that nagging little voice in the back of our mind. So you're not actually doing any work on your project, but you're not watching TV either. You're not relaxing either. So you're actually in no man's land. That's the whole problem with procrastination. So the course I have for this online at my website, drdavenoy.com, takes you point A all the way to point Z in terms of how you actually eradicate this behavior once and for all from your life. And I'm going to share with you today in this video one of the ways you could think about this and understand why you procrastinate. Because if you understand that, I want you to give you this for free today. You know, this can be, in itself, this can be something that can really transform this, this uh, unhelpful behavior that we get drawn into. So we're going to get into it. Right. I have written here, procrastination, lazy and bossy. Now this picture here is you. That's your mind, okay? And... What we have is, Freud would have called these things, this is two parts of your mind. This is your lazy mind, and this is your bossy mind. Now this, Freud would have called your superego, and this he would have called your id. So what do I mean by that, okay? So if you're in a, decision, in, a, in a situation where you have to make a decision about whether or not you're gonna do something or not, a part of you is gonna have a lazy conversation. Oh, I don't wanna do it, oh, I just need to relax. Maybe I'll watch one more episode of that show. I can do it later, you know, it's not that important. On this side of your mind, you're going to have a completely different conversation going on. That's, why did you wait so long? We need to take action now. Get up. We don't have time for this, etc., etc., right? Bossy, 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 lazy, lazy, lazy. And this is why so many people who procrastinate have this uh, thing where they talk about feeling like they're in inner conflict. And that conflict gets so overpowering that it kind of leads to, leads to paralysis. So where you are in all of this is here in the middle. So you are, in effect, the, you're the decision maker in all of this, okay? You're the decision maker right in the middle. Do you choose lazy or do you choose bossy? Now here is the super important part about all this and the point of this whole little video today. Most people identify with this. Most people think the bossy mind is the helpful one and they detest this part of themselves, the lazy part. So they give out to themselves, they judge themselves because they're so lazy, but they, they wish, they identify with this voice more and they wish they could, be, they could actually follow the orders. Now, here's the trick in all of this. You will stop procrastinating when you realize neither of these two voices, these two mentalities, if you like, are your friend. None of them are your friend. The lazy mind is not your friend, but the bossy mind is also not your friend. Why? Because they, these two voices, because they're so loud and they're fighting your, for your attention all the time, they are causing you to be in conflict. Do you go here or do you go here? And you actually lead, it leads you nowhere. It's a state of constant indecision about what to do. So neither of these two are your friend. Okay, so this is why things like, you know, mindfulness can actually be so helpful in all of this, but I'll tell you why. What you need to do is transcend both of these two voices and you need to bring something above all of this which is compassion if you go to the lazy mind and ask for its advice for instance it is not going to give you any compassion because it's going to be completely reckless about your future okay it's going to pretend like it doesn't care about it so it's going to be saying well just forget about your goals you know it's fine we can do it later on whatever now this part will give you no compassion either because this bossy mind is like it's very it's very attacking it's very judgmental of you we need to get in touch with compassion that comes from being still and it comes from deliberately 
using different, a different type of language when it comes to personal productivity and getting things done. It's one that asks you, it actually checks in with both of these and it says, okay, what do you need to relax and what do you need to move forward with your life to, to actually take more action? It's not bossy or lazy, it's balanced, okay? Now that comes from, why is it above here? Because it's above these two voices. These are the two loud voices. We hear these all the time, every day. This voice is above. It's a lot more quiet, it's more still. So in order to hear it, to get in touch with compassion, what do I need? What would be useful for me right now? What do I need to move forward, but also feel relaxed and rested? We need to stop listening to these two voices, which is why mindfulness is helpful, because we just breathe and just check in for that silent whisper, that voice that's gonna say, okay, let's just do something very simple, one little next step forward, and then we'll take a little break. Or let's say take a little break first, and then we'll move, move forward, but it's gonna be a very easy task we have. The bossy mind will give you incredibly difficult tasks to do, and this will put you in denial about the importance of the tasks, full stop. So neither of these two are, are, are useful. So it's a huge part of overcoming procrastination is about compassion finding self-compassion for yourself, which if you've watched any of my other videos in this, you'll know that the root causes of procrastination are actually uh, a deep-rooted sense of guilt or low self-esteem, which actually causes us to use the, the, the tasks or projects in our life as weapons against ourselves that we can berate ourselves for and feel worse and perpetuate that cycle of low self-respect and feeling guilty all the time. Okay, so I want you to start working now on being a little bit more quiet when you're in those moments of decision and checking in with yourself. What do I need now to be more compassionate to myself? Guys, if you found this helpful, you can come visit my website, drdavidmaloney.com, where I do uh, online counseling or uh, coaching. And there's also a complete video course from step A all the way to Z on how to overcome procrastination once and for all, where I answer uh, subscriber questions as well. So check it out and hopefully this helps and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.